Welcome to another training session of the WinCC SCADA. In this session we will see, how we can use the 3D bar graph. First of all we will open the tag management, and create an internal tag. For today's tutorial we will set its data type as unsigned 16-bit. Next we will set its connection as internal tag. Next we will open the graphic designer and open the screen. We can label this screen as per our requirement. Next we will drag and drop an I.O. field on this screen. We will link this I.O. field with the tag 5, which we have created earlier. Next we will set the tag update rate at 250 milliseconds, so that its value can be updated ever 250 milliseconds. Next we can increase the font size as per your requirement. Next we will drag and drop the 3D bar on the screen and adjust its size as per requirement. Next if we go to the geometry section, here we have two options at the bottom, bar direction and display axis. Bar direction we will set as positive, if we set this as negative the bar graph will grow to the negative axis direction. Next we can set the display axis as, X, Y or Z axis, as per our requirement. Next we can set the background as transparent. From the style menu, we can remove the background completely. Next we can set the color ranges of the bar graph from the limit menu. We can set 10 limits for the bar graph, we can also set the different colors for these limits. Next we will open the miscellaneous menu, we will set the maximum limit as 100 and minimum as 0. Next we will define the process driver connection, we will write on this bulb icon, and select tag, and select the tag 5, for this bar graph. We can set the update rate for this tag as 250 milliseconds. Before leaving, we will set the zero point value as zero. Next we will save the screen and click on the play button. You can see that, 3D bar is growing as per the value entered in the I.O. field. So this is how we can use the bar graph. Do share like and subscribe this channel for more videos. Till next time, take care and goodbye.